November 27th, Keith Green. A guy can play it safe and live a comfortable life or take a risk and live an adventure. Keith Green's next move shook the music industry to its core. He's going to do what? Why? That's not generosity. It's foolishness. And not only that, it's going to make everyone else look greedy. As a Christian musician in the 70s and 80s, Keith Green set a high bar. His life reflected the words of his songs. He lived what he preached. Green had an intense love for Christ along with a radical commitment to serve others. Most Christians steer away from radical Christianity. They live small lives and forget they are serving a big God. But Keith and his wife Melody decided that compromising their beliefs would be hypocritical. So they made difficult choices to live out their standards. It would mean standing out and risking rejection and ridicule. To live the radical life God wanted for them, the Greens chose first not to worry about money. Before they became Christians, they had been generous, always inviting people to stay with them. But after they became Christians, their generosity grew. With their first free fall of money, they bought two houses and rented four more to house anyone who needed shelter. Even in the hippie culture, which was still prevalent, this was a radical move. When Keith signed on with Sparrow Records, a Christian record label, money started pouring in. SaferNet is a VPN designed for families. Get daily updates, block sites, and even disable apps. Earn crypto for just staying connected to your cybersecurity. Keep your family safe online. Choose SaferNet. His albums shot to the top of the charts and the Christian music industry took notice The brave choices Keith and Melody made in spending their money to serve others was met with admiration. The Greens created Last Days Ministries to continue to serve others. Keith's heart was to tell people about Jesus through his music and his concerts. The Greens wanted to reach every person they could, so Keith decided to give his albums away for free or allow people to pay whatever they could afford. The Greens didn't want anyone left out because they couldn't afford an album. Last Days Ministries began sending albums to prisons and hospitals and all around the world. The Christian music industry began to question whether Keith and Melody had a hidden agenda. Sure, living for Christ meant living by God's word, but the Greens were being too radical. Were they doing this to look better than everyone else? Didn't they realize that this seemingly generous behavior would affect other Christian musicians who were also trying to make a living? Many felt the Greens' decision to give away albums for free was simply wrong. But the Greens decided to do what they felt God was telling them to do, and they didn't cave in to the pressure of the record companies. The risk was worth it. Keith took it a step further. He decided to let people into his concerts for free as well. This decision drew even more criticism and insults, but the Greens didn't seem to care. The ministry would rent the venue for the concert, and then Keith would take up an offering to help cover the costs. Because they were able to support themselves with their music royalties, Keith and Melody never received a penny from the offerings. Passion for Christ requires courage to live an adventure, not a safe life. Romans 12 verse 2 says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Is your life constrained by comfort zones, or are you taking risks for Christ? A guy can play it safe and live a comfortable life, or he can take a risk and live an adventure. Hello, friends. Welcome to today's Daily Challenge. Today is November 27th. My name is Blake Maddox, and I'm the Executive Director of 365 Christian Men. Have you ever been called radical? Have you ever been put in a box called radical? Today's story about Keith Green is one where he was labeled a radical man. 
And why was he labeled radical? He was labeled radical because he didn't go with the status quo. He didn't stay inside of a box. He really felt led of the Lord in the way he and his wife led and lived their lives. His life was cut short tragically, but he made the most of the opportunities that God had given him. And I think about radical and I think about what that means to me. It means to be sold out. It means to be willing to do whatever God calls me and asks me to do, regardless of what others say, think, or even do. And so my challenge today is, let's be radical for Jesus. And I don't mean in a goofy, silly way. I mean in an obedient, led of the Lord, spirit-focused way. The best way to honor God is to live radically, sold out to Christ and His calling uh, and His vision for our lives. So I pray you take up that challenge as I do today. God bless you. Have a great day.